how is it going everybody mr android here welcome back to a brand new video on this channel here i've got the brand new nothing cmf phone one and this is probably one of the best budget smartphone that you can get right now not only does this phone come with some really good specs for the price but it is also running the latest nothing os 2.6 based on android 14 so you're getting many new and exciting features with this beautiful device with that being said, in this video, I'll be sharing with you some useful tips, tricks and hidden features that will surely help you get the most out of your brand new phone. So stay tuned and watch this video till the very end. Also, let's aim for at least 1000 likes on this one. So drop a like, leave a comment and let's get started. Alright guys, this is usually how the home screen looks on nothing phones. You get this minimalistic monochromatic look along with a bunch of useful widgets. I also like how the icons look on the home screen and I think it goes really well with the nothing design language. The best part is when you change your device theme to dark mode, it automatically changes everything on your home screen. Now let me show you how to customize and get this look on your CMF phone one. All you need to do is just long press on the home screen, tap on customization and here you get all the interesting features that will take your customization to the next level. If you go inside colors. You can change the accent color depending on your current wallpaper. Next, there is an option to change the look of your app icons. You can choose between the default stock icons that we usually get on most Android phones. But what is new here is the Nothing Monochrome icon pack that comes pre-installed on all Nothing devices. Apart from this, you can also apply any third-party icon pack that you have downloaded from the Play Store. And before you guys ask me, this is the Nothing Material U adaptive icon pack that I am currently using on my phone. These icons changes the color depending on your phone's wallpaper and I think it matches perfectly with the nothing design. Then we have the layout option where you can change the app grid. If you want, you can also remove the app labels and you can even hide the search bar from appearing on the home screen. Swiping to the left, we have got the widget section where you can add widgets to your lock screen and there are 8 different slots you get to apply all your favorite widgets. And the best part is you can also add quick settings widgets directly on your lock screen for easier access. Next, you can customize the lock screen shortcuts. You can add camera, flashlight, mute, QR code scanner or even the video camera shortcut to your lock screen. Finally, we have the wallpaper section and if you tap on more wallpapers, here we get this brand new feature called wallpaper studio. All you have to do is just tap on create button. Here you can easily create your own wallpapers with the help of AI. Simply select a theme depending on your mood and then tap on create wallpaper. Now the AI will provide you with some stunning looking wallpapers to customize your phone and you get the option either to download or set it directly on your home screen. I think it's a great feature, especially if you are someone who loves customization and like changing your phone's wallpaper on a regular basis. You don't have to search wallpapers online or download some third party apps on your phone. You can generate your own wallpapers in just a few clicks. Now coming back to the home screen, if you want to apply any widget, simply long press and select widgets. Here you get some really interesting nothing widgets that actually look super cool and just like the lock screen, you can also add quick settings widgets on your home screen for easier access. You have the option to add widgets for mobile data, Bluetooth, flashlight, dark mode, DND, auto rotate and more. So basically you can add any of your quick settings style as a widget. Now you don't have to open your notification panel to toggle the flashlight or turn on your Wi-Fi network. You can change any of these settings directly from your home screen itself. Next, let me show you a couple of new features that's been added with the Nothing OS 2.6. If you go into the settings, select system and go inside game mode. Now there is a new feature called incoming call anti-disconnection. When you turn this on, what it basically does is, it ensures that your mobile data stays connected even when you receive an incoming call on your phone and while gaming if you don't answer the call, system will automatically disconnect it within 5 to 10 seconds. Next, under the system settings, if you go inside pop up view, we get this brand new option called expanded notifications. Once you enable this toggle, whenever you receive any notification, just swipe over it and it opens in a pop up window. Along with that, you can also trigger the pop up view from the recent page. Another new feature can be found under the battery settings. If we go into the battery health, we have this new option called custom charging mode. Here you can set the maximum charging limit between 70 and 90% to protect your battery life. So these are some exclusive features that are present on this phone and currently they are not even available on my nothing phone too. Did you know you also get the option to customize your app folders? Simply long press and tap on customization. 
here you can change the shape of your app folders there is this grid style you can make it more rounded but what i really liked is this cover style that lets you choose from these cool icons as a cover for your folder let's say if you have a folder with full of games then you can use this joystick icon as a cover to that folder and this actually looks really cool on your home screen another cool customization feature is when you apply any wallpaper you can add these cool effects we have the atmosphere and the other is glass adding these effects to your wallpaper will make the icons and the widget pop on your home screen guys if all the app icons are not adapting to the monochrome theme then just head over to the play store and make sure you have updated the official nothing icon pack i also like how these widgets on your home screen are interactive you can monitor your screen time count your daily steps start recording directly from your home screen and even the music widget look really really cool trust me you'll enjoy adding these awesome widgets to your home screen next there is also a native app locker feature available on this phone go to your settings select apps and here you get this option called app locker simply enter your device pin and now you can select all the apps for which you want to activate this feature you can also choose when you want to lock your apps either you can select when the screen is locked or when you close that specific application once done when you try to open that application it's going to ask you to scan your fingerprint so you don't have to install any third party app locker from the play store similarly if you want to hide applications just go to the app drawer and swipe all the way to the right side here you can select applications that you want to hide from the app drawer there is also a clone app feature available inside these settings so now you can use multiple instances of any app and this is really useful if you press and hold the power button it activates the google assistant instead of showing you the power off menu to change this again go to your phone settings select apps and then select assistant here you will find something called as hold power for assistant simply change that to power off menu and now when you long press you will get the power off menu let me show you how to assign more actions to this power key when you are inside the phone settings go to system select gestures and then click on double press power button here you can assign the double press shortcut to open your phone's camera toggle the flashlight open your favorite application put your phone in mute and do lot more next in the settings if you go inside notifications you'll get this option called notification history you can enable this feature if you want to keep a track of all the notifications which you have received on your phone there are times when you delete some important notifications by mistake in such situations you can surely make use of this amazing feature once you set up your device you will not see the battery percentage in the status bar but you can activate that by going into your display settings scroll down and click on status bar simply turn on this toggle that says battery percentage and you can also enable show internet speed if you really want to check the internet speed in your status bar finally let me show you some camera features this phone offers two different modes for capturing pictures you can choose either the natural or vivid mode to capture some stunning looking photos from this phone by default you can click up to 12 megapixel pictures and to change that simply swipe down and change the quality to 50 megapixels if you want to take motion pictures on your phone you can do that as well and now you can click live pictures just like the iPhones when you record videos you also get the option to record videos at 4k resolution just tap about to change the video quality next if you click on more you get various modes you can record time lapse videos and there is also this expert mode which only works for pictures you can adjust the iso white balance and the shutter speed as well so that's pretty much it for this video these are some useful tips tricks and hidden features for your cmf phone one if you guys like this video then be sure to hit that like button subscribe to this channel if you haven't already i am mr android and i will see you guys in the next one